guys, Dr. Darlin Offsiger here. I in this video, I'm going to show you how to install uh, one of my grade scans. So in this case, we are going to do the high blood pressure grade scan, and I'm just going to take the text file and copy this right here, which is going to be my. Um, is going to be my program. So to be able to use this, I need to create the program that is going to be this grade scan. So I'm going to start out by copying my text in there. And now I'm going to load up my frequencies by selecting this frequency number string. And I am going to copy and paste that and dump that in. Um, this these will run at a um, typical three minute, but that really is not going to apply for our grade scan. Okay, now this is going to be our description of what will pop up when we load up our grade scan. So I'm going to copy this just as it is. And right now you'll see it's, it's looking a little crazy, but once I save it and, are you sure you want to save it and exit? Yes, I do. Okay, so now I should be able to find this program. I am going to go in here and find my newly installed grade scan. Now you'll see I've got a bunch of stuff in here, um, previous grade scans that I've loaded. This is the one we just did right now. And you'll see you've got all of these different programs that it is Basically, I've called all these frequencies into, and this is what's going to run the grade scan. So basically, you will, um, this is your loaded pre-scan. I'm going to go back here for my pre-cert. To run this program, I would basically choose my generator X, go, go in here to my grade scan. And if you were to read all this, basically the cliff notes are, you know, you're going to go direct to an out, uh, direct the output on, um, just straight out on whichever generator port you want to use. So either G1 or G2, and you want to use your, um, output one and, um, use your tens cables, plug in your, uh, you know, your uh, electrodes and you'd be ready to run your scan. So you want to use this pre-cert, go in, we got our high blood pressure program loaded up. You don't really need to mess with anything on the settings and you're going to go to your control panel, click your overwrite, your generator. I will do all of this for you. You can see it just loaded in my new high blood pressure scan. Um, this you'll you'd want to put in whatever uh, you know. Novziger Darla grade scan blood pressure. Maybe today's date something like that, and then I would hit my scan. Now, I'm not going to actually scan right now because I have got people who are actually running their programs and they are on timelines and I don't want to interrupt their programs to actually run the scan, so I'm not gonna click my scan button, but if I were ready to go, you would see all of these greens turn to yellow, meaning they're temporarily paused. And then this would turn green and you would see something kind of like this, although this looks a little more like 
a biofeedback scan but it would like start with your first frequency and then it would go to this one this one this one in all i would say for it to grade scan these 476 potential frequencies this grade scan would probably take somewhere along the lines of maybe two to three minutes i'm gonna guesstimate somewhere in that vicinity so it's not gonna be like super super long scan um you know a couple minutes would be all it takes and then it would you know kind of pop up your results um let me see if i can pull up let me just pull up something random something of mine maybe this okay so when you would get your results of your grade scan it would come up with something you know that would look maybe something a little like this um and it would just keep going and you would get your you know top results this would be your number one um basically of all of the 460 whatever you know your number one would be this one and then on down um so basically this is what your results of your scan would look like something like this and then you could copy this to a clipboard and dump it into another program you could select however many you wanted if you wanted to just let me take my top three and look at those and then you could do your reverse lookups you could you know whatever you wanted to do from here now you need to save whatever you want to save as a program because otherwise your results these results are going to be in your biofeedback um you know so if you wanted to build a custom program with this you would basically do something like that where you know it would these are my top three frequencies and then you could rename this and create your program and then you know this was my grade scan results on this date whatever um whatever you wanted to do with it from there so that's basically how you would run it and you know how you'd load it and run it um, and use the information hopefully y'all find this helpful if you do you know just kind of subscribe wherever you saw this video and i hope to be doing more videos like this soon